Hi, and welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing the 1791 16AC block I.O. This is a 16 input, 16 output, and 120 volt of the 1791 series. These were made um, in the 80s and 90s and no longer made or available new from Allen Bradley. If you find a new one in box, you're doing really good. Um, one of the things that people get confused on is that these are only remote I.O. and they run on the three speeds uh, 57, 115 and 230. Whenever you change a dip switch on these units you must power it down, count to five usually, and then power it back up. That's the only way that the modules recognize a dip switch change. And that goes for whether you're setting the chassis speed, the rack address, or any of the uh, two dip switches. And we'll go through that here shortly. Currently I have it hooked up to my usual test bench. I've got it on a PLC540E, my 16 uh, pilot lights, and tied into an input card so that we can confirm everything. Um, I'll real two lines of programming for testing and this same setup can be used for testing uh, 8 input, 8 output or which is the 8AC or the 24AR or multiple combinations. They're, it's, they're a handy item to have. So anyhow, uh, enough of my yakking. Let's get get at it and just get set up here uh, with different lens so we can see the module and uh, away we go. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is our 16 AC block. It's wired up so that the outputs are driving the inputs which are tied to the pilot lights that we use for our load. And it's also good to remember that with all these triac outputs there is leakage and you have to have a decent load. If you have no load you're going to get the false triggering of inputs if you have your input tied to your output or they have been known to turn on some LEDs that don't have enough load like if you're running 120 volt LED across it you you probably have to put a resistor on if you don't have a load resistor built into your LED. So anyhow, uh, to set things up, your bottom switches here are your starting quarter, your rack address, unused, and then that's your speed there. And the rest of them basically for PLC5 are unused. Currently this is set for rack 7 and 230K. Now, like I said, if you do a change to the switches, you have to power it down, power it up. Um, it's just the way these old ones work. So if I want to change this block to 57.6, I take and flip those two switches. Now as you see nothing has changed. So I power it down, wait a half a second, power it up. Now you can see that our status light is flashing. Oh yep, yeah, you can see that. Um, the only way to get that so it communicates again is now you have to put the PLC into program, go into your channel configuration, your, and in this case uh, this is channel 1B, change it to match that remote I.O., apply it, and you can see how it's now, as soon as I applied it, we're flashing green. So it's ready to go. Put it back into run mode. And there we go. So I've confirmed two things by doing this. One, power up, power down works. And both of those speeds work. So that means both those switches are good, they're clean, they're clear. Having it on rack 7 it's also a good good test because you're confirming the three main switches that you use all the time for setting your rack address are clean and work properly. Um, if any one of those didn't work it would be a different address than seven. So 
now we'll just swing around here to our computer screen and uh, there is our really simple logic it is um, sim, uh, input on one second flasher which is S230 which is right from the time clock built into the PLC move minus one which is everything on when it's in the opposite state move zero and down here we get to see that all of our inputs are going on and off matching everything here so that's how simple these things are to test um, in the next week or so I have some or a couple of weeks I have some 24 ARs coming in and those are relay outputs and we'll test those they're 24 input and 8, eight output relay outputs and the relays have been known to uh, die on those on occasion so we'll uh, see how these ones are thanks a lot come back anytime